We all know that there has recently been a growing trend in several countries to promulgate or to adopt to four doses of COVID vaccines, or rather get a second booster shot, apparently to address surge of COVID infection caused by the Omicron variant. The question is, is this scientifically based decision, as we all know that we have more data with regard to the severity of Omicron, and are they really necessary? Let's watch this. It seems that many of us, uh, including my friends and patients, are confused about vaccines because there is the belief that once you're vaccinated and boosted, that you are completely protected against infection. And anything short of this expectation means that the vaccine is a failure, which means, therefore, they need another injection or they need another shot of the vaccine. Likewise, you may have known some friends of yours who have been already given two primary series of vaccines, meaning, for example, two doses of the Sinovac, then they got another two doses of Moderna, which were privately purchased, thinking that the more vaccines, the better. But is it? At present, our local Department of Health and worldwide health authorities only recommend two doses of primary vaccines with only one booster job is recommended, meaning there should only be a total of three injections, while one for those with J&J, only one additional dose or booster shot is needed. So if you receive Sinovac as two doses for primary series, then you can either get a Pfizer, Astra, Sinovac, or a Moderna as a booster shot three months after the second dose. However, if you also got J&J as one primary vaccine, then you should get at least one additional booster shot two months after the first dose. Recently, CDC clearly showed us data that giving booster for people aged 60 and above is showing the biggest benefit in this age group. Likewise, if you just got COVID-19 Omicron variant symptoms and you got positive for that and you were due for a booster shot, when do you get your booster after the infection? So it is recommended that once you finished your prescribed isolation period and you didn't have fever for the last 24 hours without taking any antipyretics, then you can actually get your booster shot immediately after recovery. So the issue nowadays is that whether we need another booster dose after the three doses that we receive, especially with concerns of the rapid transmissibility of the Omicron variant, which is now affecting our country. Now, frankly speaking, I am not a fan of another booster shot. Now, this idea of booster or fourth dose is indeed gaining a lot of criticism, and there is really a need, a growing pushback against the idea. We know that the news that the use of second booster or typically a fourth shot is emerging for different reasons. For example, in Latin America, it is to boost immunity provided by Sinovac, which was given as their primary vaccine series, to provide better protection by increasing neutralizing antibodies against Omicron. Now, the model of Israel has provided us with preliminary data whether an additional fourth dose of COVID-19 vaccine is really helpful because their preliminary data has really put doubt whether the fourth dose is really needed. Why? Because their data showed that the increases in antibodies after a fourth injection were only slightly higher than those seen following the third vaccine given before. Likewise, the increased antibodies did not also prevent the spread of Omicron, suggesting that despite increased antibody levels, the fourth vaccine only offered partial defense against the virus. 
Another fear I have, uh, which is also the fear among different health practitioners by giving too many injections in a very short period of time, especially for those of my friends who have already taken four injections and are again planning to get a booster shot after their two primary doses of two doses of Sinovac plus two doses of Moderna is really asking for danger. For now, experts, including CDC, are not even agreeable with a fourth job as a second booster due to concerns of safety. Recently, experts in some European countries like Ireland, including those from the vaccine strategy in the European Medicines Agency, have warned that we cannot booster our way through the pandemic by giving everyone another injection every three to four months. Now, this practice apparently is very risky because theoretically we risk overloading our immune system. In short, there is currently no data to support this additional booster or more injections as an approach as scientists continue to seek more data on the fast spreading Omicron variant and other variants to come. The risk here is overloading people's immune systems with more injections. It is there and long-term outcome is unknown that can lead to significant fatigue and other problems in the population. Other experts, on the other hand, believe that if indeed future studies will prove that additional boosters are needed to be helpful, that these repeat booster shots may be needed every several years rather than in a very short period of time, possibly every year, and adjust them to the most prevalent variant. However, experts also believe that we may not really need any more boosters as future variants may prove to be less virulent. And in fact, some say this Omicron may actually end the pandemic. You will note that some countries, like for example, Denmark, is returning to life as they knew it despite Omicron. Denmark, for example, due to its high vaccination rate, including 60% of their population already given boosters, has already eased all COVID-19 restrictions with estimated around 80% of their population are already protected against severe forms of the disease. And apparently, Omicron is not being a severe disease for the vaccinated that Denmark health authorities find it reasonable to lift the restrictions. And therefore, they are now living with the COVID-19. So in theory, it is possible that people who have had two to three doses of the current vaccines and then got infected in the future with less virulent strains, like during this wave of Omicron, will not really need another booster after all. Just like now, some of our friends who got Omicron variant and they're being vaccinated and boosted only had one to two days of fever without any other symptoms. So what do I see in the future? The most likely scenario is that people will get COVID-19 shot probably every year in the same way that we get flu vaccine. Maybe they're going to give flu vaccine together with a COVID-19 as booster every year. As new variants will probably emerge over time, we may need to live with them like flu and then come up with a scientific strategy to fight it. I hope this video helps among those people who are trying to ask whether they need another booster shot in spite of the fact that they already got four injections because they got two primary doses of Sinovac and Moderna. This is again Dr. Jerry Tan. Thank you for watching. See you again soon.